Welcome everyone, really quick here. Big changes in this patch are few, and we are going to go over them now before Talk Out TV goes live. First is that with this update, you can finally manage your stash and flee while you're waiting for your raid to load. There will be a button, I assume, in the lower right corner, like we all used to in the pre raid screens, since this would be the most logical option instead of creating some kind of fancy, massive UI. A nice change for those that don't have a lot of time to clean our horde of junk when trying to squeeze in as many ways as possible before going to the next thing we have to do. Really cool part is that you can see your teammates gear and health even in scab cues. So in case your buddy forgets to heal before raid, now you can remind him. Disclaimer though, the notes do say partial and that this will only be up while your game is searching for a server. So we're not really sure how much time you actually have to be able to do this. Next up is ping and locking. Here's what they say verbatim. If you want to read them, just pause the video here. In short terms, now if you want to pin an item so auto sort doesn't move it, you can just click P then the item. But this only lasts until the start of the next raid or if you equip the item. Locking an item prevents it from being deleted, sold, moved, or used. Want to hold out something you don't want it to go anywhere, accidentally submit it for a quest, or anything like that. This is just like before with the pinning, you just click L, then the item, and bam, it's not going anywhere. This persists even inside containers, but will prevent you from equipping a container if a locked item is in it. For example, if you have a locked item in a rig, then you can't equip that rig. Finally, what you're most likely seeing in your feeds, if you follow anything talk of late, is that BSG has added the AA-12 auto shock. Now Nikita did mention in the past that he never wanted auto shotguns to be in the game. So it will be interesting to see how it plays out and see if it's actually fully automatic or not. This would be insane if it's full auto and set of players are able to use this for the quest since it's a 12 gauge. Can you imagine customs? with set of players running around with these auto shotguns? Let me know your thoughts down below because I think it would be hell. I know I would definitely not be playing customs as much as I do now. I don't want to mention, just to make sure I cover it, the weather has been changed to fall, but what does that really mean is anyone's guess. My thoughts is that it would be similar to the snow we got last uh, year with vegetation not being as full and lush while having the extra noise from players and the AI, while having the extra noise from player and the AIs walking on leaves, but we will see. I drop another video after talk of tv event with the most important info from it so keep an eye out for that